recommended Gigabit 802.11 in routers that work with DDWRT. I've read this question, and checked out the supported devices list, but I'm looking specifically for a Gigabit 802.11 in router that is easy to find and fully supported by DDWRT. It seems like some of the Linksys WRT300 in series are a good idea, but I'm not sure which of these are easily available and fully supported. If you think 802.11 in is a waste of time, that's also an acceptable answer. Just let me know why. In that case, I'm perfectly happy to go with the standard Linksys WRT54GL. It seems like N is still up and coming. Possible candidates, all Linksys. WRT350N seems decent but a few people have had to buy a RAM heatsink to stick on the processor to prevent overheating. WRT600N looks good but I think it's discontinued. WRT150N seems to have the least issues and is stable but I think it's discontinued. This is perhaps the cheapest N router I could find. $60? WRT610N is a work in progress. The DDWRT team is picking one apart right now to stabilize the firmware. Finally, here's a chart just to show you what the stock firmware slash hardware is capable of. This URL. If throughput is important, remember that DDWRT does not increase speed, just adds a lot more functionality. I realized this question was asked quite a while ago. I've had very good luck with a pair of WRT320N routers running DDWRT. Got them refurbished in AMP, I've been punishing both of them ever since I brought them home in AMP, loaded them with DDWRT. There is a very good thread regarding DDWRT in AMP, the WRT320N, if you go this route be sure to read it. Also, I've noticed significant speed increases due to the 802.11N and the gigabit switch. Sorry, I haven't done any quantitative measurements. There's a complete list of DDWRT supported 802.11 in devices here. This URL. Although I do think N is a waste of time the WRT54GL suffers from mediocre throughput, max 30 MIT when LAN. If you got a 100 MIT internet connection you need newer gear. I decided to go with the Linksys WRT320N. It isn't supported by DDWRT yet, but I think support will be here soon. The reason I picked it is because it got a gigabit Ethernet switch and around 100 bit WAN LAN throughput. Also the fact that I expect DDWRT to work on it real soon now is important smile. The latest US firmware is supposedly quite good, but EU firmware is behind and there is a bug in the old, and current EU, versions that forces you to disable UPnP, or your throughput will tank in a day or two. Yeah. <laughs>